Today we're going to read Shay's Divine Blueprint and then we're going to open up her master coding and do any upgrades that she needs, some, any activation that she needs. So just taking a couple deep breaths. I'm gonna call in all of our guides and angels to be with us here today. Just knowing that we are fully protected in every way. And just tuning in with the body. Is there anywhere else in your body that you feel any tension? Just in the crown a little bit. So let's tune in with the crown. What is it that we need to know? You're saying high energy, like high vibrations. So is this more energy than you're used to? She needs to find a way to spread the energy out, but that's why we're here today. So what other activations, um, other than the ones that Shay requested, should I be doing with her today? Crown activation. And as we tune in, I just Shay, I just, just want you to focus into your heart. Just drop down into your heart. And I'm gonna take you into the void today. So with the pure intention of going into the void, are you able to fill yourself in the void? Yeah. Can I just say, when I woke up this morning, like I couldn't tell if it was like a dream or a vision, but it, like literally what we're doing now is kind of what was said, like you connect heart to heart in the void, so. That's interesting. <laughs> but. So just connecting to the heart, just dropping into the heart, into the void, just feeling yourself into the void, feeling the nothingness of the void, feeling this area of the void where creation is made relaxing and letting go feeling yourself here and now in the void are you able to feel or see anything around you you see like the sun and a baby and have you seen this baby before no, I've never seen this baby. It just looks like um like a baby you'd see like in a commercial, like on um on like baby wipes or it just looks very um like polished, like an advertisement. What is this baby trying to tell you today? connect with your inner child but I kind of see this baby in like a prism and there are like people observing the baby so it seems like the baby is in like a simulated reality where it's just like the sun is shining there's grass and the baby is kind of just playing and then there's like these people with um, like really exaggerated faces just like watching the baby and like taking notes. And what is the expression of the baby? Is the baby happy? Is it sad? How's the baby feeling? Yeah, the baby looks pretty happy just like playing around. There's no toys in there or anything. It's just like entertaining itself. So tuning in with the beings that are watching the baby, why are they observing the baby?
examining joy, like pure joy. It's almost like what I'm getting because they're not talking or anything. It's like they're trying to make some kind of medicine or something based off of the baby's pure joy. Like, I guess trying to see how they can extract that and make it something material. Like, like bottle it almost. So in the very beginning, when you said that you saw the sun, can you ask them what the sun represents? It's just like, I guess, a boost, um, a boost to the joy. So the sun is also in that prism, that simulated thing. It's like the baby's on grass and the sun is shining and, um, it's just like an element to increase the joy. So let's ask them as we tune in with this image, how does this image relate to your divine blueprint? Or the reason why you're here? that I was once researching that joy. Like, I don't see myself among these people, but maybe at one point I was trying to figure out joy. So what we're gonna do, we'll come back to this image that they're showing you. So I want you to tune in fully with your crown just feeling your crown radiate and activate completely. And I'm just gonna unlock the master coating of your crown. So just taking a couple deep breaths. So just opening that completely, tuning in with your crown to the divine blueprint of your crown inviting any beings that, that helped create the blueprint of this crown what is the divine blueprint of your crown what is the greatest gifts of your crown and why was it so important that it be fully activated today the first thing that came up was roses and then it was rose quartz um trying to figure out what that means passion enlightenment like i'm just getting like words not really so as these words come to you just say them out loud okay. thrill joy ride it's like joy ride and then it's like enjoy the ride so i see that you absolutely have this passion for divine love within your crown and that that is kind of like what you're bring what you're here to bring from your crown do you feel that I'm saying it's like figuring out what that means to me so after the crown activation how will this make changes in your life like an offering to my heart like I just keep seeing like different flowers and stuff now it's like my mind needs to surrender from my heart beautiful so calling in your guides and angels we're going to activate the crown completely and just upgrade the crown um, rewrite any of the coding that needs to be recoded. So just taking a couple deep breaths and tuning in with the divine love of your crown.
Taking a couple deep breaths, just letting that resonate. And how does that feel? It felt really nice. Like as you were doing it, it just felt like waves in my mind. Amazing. So let's travel down into the pineal gland. Just tuning in with your pineal gland, taking a couple deep breaths here. I'm just gonna unlock the master coating for the gland. And when you tune in with this area, what is the divine blueprint that you came in with? Just like chill, like the word that came up was suave. Just like, like just real like chill. So what are some of your greatest psychic abilities in this life? Clear audience. Channel writing. Just intuitive like feeling. Able to connect easily with other people. Saying heart healing too. And how can you use this space to heal the heart? So is it to heal other people's heart or to heal your own heart? It's like I heal with my heart. I just have to put in the work to keep my heart space in a healthy place to be able to do that. And as I say that, like I feel like my chest like contracting. And it's like, I guess, trying to give me an example of like, what I don't want to feel like. So just taking a couple deep breaths. Do your guides or your pineal gland have any messages for you? They're just showing me what a contracted heart feels like right now. And I get the message, you guys can stop now. <laughs> Perfect. So, are there any like psychic abilities that you want turned up or that you'd like activated? Intuitive abilities. Like, I feel like they're already strong, but I want to be able to have them strengthened and also not doubt at the same time. So I guess just um, removing the doubt around intuitive abilities. Perfect, so I can definitely add that and then we will come back to that at the heart as well. So I'm just gonna do a clear, um, like a, there is still just a little bit more density around your pineal gland. So I'm gonna clear that, fully activate it, um, and then they want me to do an upgrade for telepathy as well. So taking a couple of deep breaths, just tuning out the space. Okay, just taking a couple deep breaths. And 
Now tuning in with the throat. Just gonna unlock the throat. Opening the master coating. What is the coating within your throat chakra? Like sing. Like sing light language. More so it's like one note, just like singing one note to really like get things going. So is this kind of like a program that you have where you can sing this certain note and it will what does it do? Does it activate other people? Does it activate you? Does it help you like get into a space? Um, what would that note do for you? It's like a frequency. Um. My voice is very strong. My voice is what will make me, what will make me money, but I have to let go of fear of criticism of using my voice to help others. Like I have to spread my voice all over the world. So how does your voice connect with your divine purpose in this life? It's like this time around, I have to step more into like a spotlight role and not be behind the scenes so much. And with this spotlight role, it's about using your voice to spread positive messages or at least messages, messages period, um, divine messages, messages from God, messages from angels. I can't keep these things in, I can't hold them in. Certain messages are given to me to share, so that's what I have to do. So the main thing is just not feeling like bad about, well, not even bad, just not feeling embarrassed about sharing these things. Just understanding that there's nothing to be embarrassed about and the messages were given for a reason. When she uses her voice, and we're sh showing her, um, like, different scenes from her life, when she decides to use her voice and reach out to people, talk to people, she has a lot more success than when she just keeps things in. So we just encourage her to use her voice because that is the key to her abundance. So in what ways can her voice bring her abundance? The more people she talks to and communicates with, the more opportunities will open to her and those opportunities in turn will bring her monetary success. Also using her voice in different ways such as with these channel messages. Also with her clients, she for the most part, does a lot of talking um, in sessions and guiding her clients through the sessions. So her voice is her golden ticket. She just needs to use it to the best of her ability. So I keep getting a lot of visions of shade, like creating meditations. Is this something that would bring her abundance as well? Of course. And what kind of meditations could she make? 
just be what I'm seeing is like soothing um, different it's like different areas so it's not anything specific she can do meditations about practically anything perfect so today what would you like activated so we'll activate the light language more and shay's voice what else would you like upgraded and activated i'm saying it's just like amplify so just really open and activate this area yeah beautiful so just taking a couple deep breaths with your beautiful throat chakra just taking a couple deep breaths just tuning in just completely unlocking just feel this beautiful divine flow of energy through this portal through this beautiful portal that you have from the earth realm to the spirit realm just feeling this divine portal completely activate deep breaths and you said that there is a certain frequency that Shay um, should speak are you able to share what that is with her it's downloaded but we just want her, um, when she gets home, to practice it. It's not necessarily the sound that it makes, but it's the feeling of the frequency. So she'll feel it in a specific part of her throat when she does it. And that's how she, she'll know that she's doing it correctly. So yeah, it's not about the sound. It's just about a certain part of the throat being utilized. And she'll know we already kind of put like um a pin there so she'll know she knows what part it is beautiful so moving to the heart now moving to the design divine center of your heart um shay i'm gonna try something a little bit different so i want you to go into your heart space just make sure you just drop into the void again just completely dropping into the void within your heart and I want you to step out of your body so take a step out of your body so that you can see your body laying in front of you and you can see your heart and when you're looking at your heart I want you to see the master codes within your heart so I'm gonna unlock them and I just want you to visualize the master coding that is within your heart. So, so as this opens to you completely, are you able to see the divine blueprint that's within your heart? I just see a bunch of numbers. So a lot of threes, sixes, nines, fives. And it's like they're kind of, some parts of it are kind of connected, like 
Um, it's like if you would play Candy Crush or something and you know you have to get like three gems in a row or something. It's kind of connected in that way. So tuning in with your guides, your angels, and your higher self, what is the divine blueprint of your heart? Empathy. Your heart is all-encompassing, but you kind of close it off sometimes. And they're showing me just like how big my heart is. Like it's almost like encapsulating my body. That's how big it is. Um, so it's like, I guess like empathy from a distance, like using the, the energy or making the energy so great that I can do it and not even be connected but if I do decide to connect, it's even greater. It's kind of just like automatic, like just like I radiate this. So how does the blueprint in your heart relate to that first vision that you had when we first dropped into the void with the baby and the sun? How does this relate to the blueprint of your heart? It's like I've cracked the code of joy, but I'm just choosing not to combine it correctly. It's like I have all the pieces, but I'm just not making the connection for that like ultimate joy. So what can you do to make these connections for joy in your heart? I just put the pieces together. Like, like I've already um, made it this far and I've finished collecting all the necessary pieces. I just need to put it together now. So do your guides and angels have any guidance for you? on how to keep your heart open um, when you want to close it off. Just see the divinity in everything. And don't get caught up in the earthly programming about being cold hearted or, you know, not showing emotions and stuff like that. Um, that may work for other people, but that is not a part of what I'm supposed to do with my heart. So, yeah, just take time to check in more often with your heart and if there's something external that disturbs that just find the divinity in it and keep it moving beautiful so there is another part of the programming that i see that is very important to this lifetime and it's kind of something that you're doing behind the scenes and not even realizing it. Um, so I'm gonna invite Sylvester in actually. Um, I don't know if he's able to be here with us today, but I have a feeling that this is something that like Sylvester programmed for you. So is he able to tell you what he programmed into your heart about karma and cleansing karma? See, this is a part of um, this is a part of that separation that if you are doing karma work it is very important not to deeply involve yourself or get attached to 
the karma that it is that you're dealing with. So what we are downloading and what we are trying to teach her is about just being that healing presence without getting involved in it. That's why we are showing her her heart so big because it has to be in order to complete that mission to do that work. Okay, so I'm getting this like, um, it's so amazing actually. So when I see these blueprints, I see them like in sacred geometry. Um, and it's amazing shade, like <laughs> the detail that went into your heart. Um, so like what I'm seeing is like, once your heart is fully open and activated and you allow yourself into that space, it's like um, you just cleanse the karma of everyone around you. Like you not just cleanse your karma, but I'm showing like you're like this beacon of light that just cleanses everyone else's karma also. Yeah, they're just showing me like just walking past people and if I, or if, me and that person happen to share a smile with each other, then that is enough of uh, that is enough of an interaction to facilitate that healing. Of course, it can be done on a deeper level, um, as far as a session or developing a uniform or streamlined way of doing it, but. Just that small of an interaction is enough to cleanse or just to even get the ball rolling for that person to facilitate their own healing. So did you feel like this was important to bring into this lifetime because of the work that you do on the soul plane? Yes, it's testing out what I've come up with. We really want her to just start playing with it out in the field. Um, and by field, we mean your world. So what can she do to play with this beautiful gift that she has? Just interact with people, random people more often. Um, so just saying hi to somebody that she happens to walk past, smiling at people, complimenting people, and just taking the time to see their energy change, see how they brighten up. See how they almost come to life. She can also try this as a session, but we want her to um, develop it more. And not even develop it, we just want her to ask us or ask me specifically what I've been doing and then materialize it within your world and try it out on patients or clients. So she has also asked for upgraded coding for consistent financial abundance. Um, so we'll definitely do that for her today so that she can really become a magnet to that financial abundance. Um, also, we will add coding for um, your intuition as well. And then um, you ask for coding for discernment um, to remove any doubts that you've had with yourself and to increase focus. So we're going to tune all that into your heart. Um, and Sylvester would also like to just do an upgrade for your cleansing of karma to make it even more powerful. So I'm going to actually ask him to just trans channel through me and do the upgrade because he wrote the programming for the karma. 
So I'm just going to ask him to just completely step into me. <clears throat> so just tuning in with your heart. Just having a complete open and active heart. Just filling your heart with more divine love. Just increasing that capacity for divine love. Is done. Hmm. Dude, I even felt like the divine love through me. <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah, I felt it too. That was cool. Sylvester has so much energy. Like, I felt it right when he came in. That was crazy. Just tuning in with the heart one last time. Just dropping back into the void. Back into the space of no thing, no time, no one. Just dropping back into the space of complete nothingness where all of creation is made. Just tuning back in, just taking a couple deep breaths. And then just tuning in with the solar plexus. Just unlocking the divine coding of your solar plexus. So when you open this divine coding, what is the coding of your solar plexus? It just came through like a hologram, like digital. So let's ask your guides, what does this mean? Mm, it's almost robotic, like automated is the word that came up. It's like automated production. I'm asking them, what am I producing? Oxytocin? I'm asking them what is like, if they can give me like a full sentence or something, like what does that mean? So it's almost like my mind and my solar plexus need to switch so all of the like automated kind of the work that is not intuitive i need to do that from my solar plexus and not from my mind and what kind of work is that just like every day, well not every day, but just like um, like ma not maintenance. Mm -hmm. Like when you're at work and you just have kind of like automated behavior? Yeah, like that or like editing 
or like going to the bank, grocery shopping, just things that I do for essentially survival that maybe I don't necessarily feel the most enjoyment from, but I have to do anyway. Like do it from your solar plexus and not your mind. It'll feel, it'll feel better and it's a much more productive place to garner that energy from. So right now you've been doing all of these like mundane tasks from your mind. Mm -hmm. And is that why you feel so drained sometimes? Absolutely. That's why my crown is always like, something's always going on. It's not necessarily a headache or migraine, it's just like a tension, like a pressing. So what we'll do today is we'll definitely do an upgrade for your solar plexus um, so that you can begin to really tune in with your solar plexus more and get out of your head. Is there anything else that you need to know about your solar plexus? Is there any messages that your guides want to bring through to you? So it's like, do it from the place of your solar plexus because the mind has doubts, the solar plexus does not. So let's say I try to make a to-do list or yeah I try to like create a to-do list or something of just like everyday stuff it's like the mind will be like well should I do this first should I do that first how much time should I take if you do it from the place of the solar plexus of uh, if you do it from the place of the solar plexus it's very like like automated like do this do this do this do this and because of the type of energy that is in the solar plexus you feel more of a sense of accomplishment with it or not accomplishment but you just feel more confident in your decisions you know you're not second guessing or doubting it's just like one after the other like that's the easiest way to get your tasks done um and that does not only apply touche but anyone listening you can try that out as well do your everyday like earthly tasks from the place of the solar plexus and see if that helps if that can improve those tasks not feeling so daunting or boring that is actually really good advice thank you so she also, um, we did put code, we added codes um, to help her stop doubting herself. I'm gonna add that into the solar plexus as well. And then also just codes of like being more decisive of what she wants to do in her life. So just taking a couple deep breaths in through the solar plexus and just updating anything that needs to be updated as well. And I just want you to feel there's still just a tiny bit of density in here. So I just want you to feel this powerful yellow light coming into your solar plexus, just transmuting any leftover density that's still here. Just taking this density and completely transmuting it. Just allowing you to release and let go of anything that's no longer serving your highest purpose. Just allowing the center to fully activate. Just allowing you to step into your beautiful spiritual power, to your beautiful divine being. Allowing you to become more decisive than ever before, more intuitive. Just activating your gut feeling, being able to listen to this area completely.
taking a couple deep breaths and now just tuning in with the sacral just unlocking the master coding of the sacral tuning in with the sacral can you tell me what do you see so i want you to do this one more time so i just want you to go back into the void just drop into the void imagine your body just floating in the void and i just want you to take one step out so that you're looking at your body and when you are looking at the coding of your sacral what do you see encyclopedia it's like i just saw like a really big book just like slam down And how does this relate to your sacral? Like so much information stored here. So it's showing me like this really big book and then it has like a bookmark in it and the bookmark is maybe, has maybe only covered a few pages of the book. So I think that's what it is. It's like I've only covered a small amount of this big book of information that's in my sacral. Yeah, so like the moment I opened it, it's like, it's cool because I like this, it's like the book opened and this like powerful orange light was just like radiating from it. It was super cool. <laughs> I saw it more as smoke. Yeah, that's really cool. So what is it, what kind of information is held within your sacral? like ancient it's like all the wisdom that I came into this lifetime with was like given to me in like a pouch like in my sacral and I guess maybe along the way um, because writing is such a big part of what I do I kind of just put the the information into writing that's why it's such a huge book now instead of just um like little i guess trinkets because that's how i saw it is like i came with a pouch in my sacral and it was like little trinkets to hopefully like trigger something in my mind to help me remember but i guess somewhere along the line of like i don't know like early adolescence and stuff I was maybe shown those symbols in dreams, but they didn't ring a bell. So I had to, or another aspect of me decided to just put it in writing instead to help me out. So would you say, so you have all of the information from your past lives, from all the um, information that you've done, from studying like human design in past lives, all of the different work that you've done, all of that information is held within your sacral? Yeah. And are you meant to bring this information to the collective or why was it so important for you to have all of this information in this lifetime? I feel like Sylvester tried to make a joke just now and he's like, I'm a hoarder. <laughs> and I think some of it is meant to be shared, um, but others of it, I think, like, yeah, like it just like keeps me comfort. Um, it's just like, it's mine is kind of what's being said. It's like you can keep all of the hard work that you've done with mm -hmm. you. Yeah, just like a record. So what other superpowers do you have held within your sacral? Like what other divine, beautiful gifts is held within your sacral that you can really tap into and use in this lifetime? So my sacral is very healing as well. But I just haven't figured out how I'm supposed to use it. 
um, you're saying creative endeavors, being creative is very healing for me, but I always shut down my creativity because I feel like my creativity sometimes just stays in my mind and I have a hard time getting it out into the world. So yeah, they're saying creative or create creative endeavors. So today you said you wanted a sacral tuning. So we will definitely like rebalance and activate the sacral completely. Um, they're saying they would also like to give you downloads of like how to actually put this creation into action. So like instead of um, just kind of like having pictures in your head but not knowing where to go with it, like giving you the actual downloads and the upgrades you need to manifest these creations. So just taking a couple of deep breaths. I just want you to put your hands on your sacral while we do this. So kind of like Reiki, so just like lay your hands flat on your sacral. And I'm just going to bring in orange light just to just because you do have a tiny bit of density left here. So just feel this powerful orange light of source. Just cleanse this area completely, transmuting anything that no longer serves your highest purpose. Just releasing all these densities in your sacral, allowing you to become the beautiful creative being that you are. deep breaths just letting that resonate and now just going into the root unlocking the codes of the root um just tuning in with the root what is the divine blueprint of your root just like find the divinity I kind of got lost in a vision. Just about, yeah, just about that, just about finding divinity. How does your root connect you to divinity or to the divine? When your crown is inactivated, Your root keeps you connected. And this is for majority of people. There are only a few select people who cannot have this connection with this root, but that is something of their own. Um, I'm just seeing like being solid, like just very unmoving. So is your root like what's keeping you grounded in this 3D reality? So you can like maneuver through? Yeah, I 
it keeps me like planted but also it's like to spread like spread your roots you have to connect with others and that is what we mean by find the divinity you have to find the divinity in everybody and hopefully that spreads person to person to person encompassing the globe but your roots are meant to be spread beautiful and, yeah and it's like Your root is the source of like helping others. What can you share to stabilize someone else? Yeah. Perfect. So I do feel just a tiny bit of density in your root as well. Um, and this is pretty normal just because of like, this is where we really hold on to any density that we come in with during the day. Um, so this is something that should be cleansed daily. You can just like go into your root and work with it every day um, just for a few minutes. So I'm just gonna pull in some red light, just cleansing and clearing completely. Just completely activating with this beautiful red light. Just feeling this beautiful, powerful red light of source. Just completely cleanse and open your channel of energy. Just grounding you completely to the earth. And now we're just going to do some upgrades. Just allowing you to connect more easily to the people you need to connect with. Just keeping you grounded to the earth. I <sighs> Sing a couple deep breaths. <laughs> line that's resonating with your body and as your beautiful activations are completed i'm just going to do one more final activation so we're just going to activate the you have a um energy center right above your head and you have an energy center like right below your feet so we're just going to connect or make your connection to the spirit world even greater, stronger, easier to connect with. And we are going to make you more connected with the earth than ever before. So <sighs> tuning in with both of these chakra points, both of these connection points, um, just feeling them like rotate and connect. Um, into a circle, just feeling you encompassed in this beautiful circle as this energy swirls around your entire body. I'll catch you. <laughs> And then just taking you know, one more deep breath. How? <sighs> How?
just taking a couple deep breaths um and while i'm in the state i'm just gonna call in a cue i'm gonna have a cue just read your final blueprint and just kind of like bring it all together so oh your crown your crown is so beautiful your crown your crown is so connecting your crown has so much energy once this crown is fully active once you learn to completely control your mind once you get into that state of meditation in your waking day um and you are so close you are so close and when you are in this beautiful waking state of meditation throughout the day your crown it shines so bright this is why your connection to the akasha is so strong this is why you are the akasha um this is why you download and bring through this information so easily is because your crown it just radiates it just connects you to this beautiful portal um and we have activated the portal above your crown to help with these downloads to help with the akasha um this is powerful powerful work that you are doing and we are so happy that you are doing it and we are so happy to watch you turn your crown into your superpower your pineal gland is extremely powerful as well um we have turned up your telepathic abilities we have turned up your Claire audience. We have turned up your um, clairvoyance as well. When you see orbs, we ask that you try and speak with them. They will speak back to you. When, um, when you connect even more deeply with your pineal gland, um, incredible things will happen. And dear one, you are so psychic. You are very psychic as well. Um, this is, uh, you have already had visions, you have already had um, unexplainable events happen to you and that will also, that was also upgraded today. Um, your throat, your throat, your light language is completely active. It is just the worthiness, it is feeling the worthiness of this beautiful gift that you have. It is allowing the divine light to throw, uh, to just flow freely through your throat. But we are so excited to watch you use this as well. And as we go into your heart, oh my gosh, Sylvester did such a beautiful job with your heart. Um, you just cleanse the karma of everyone around you. And that is why it was so beautiful for you to come into this lifetime. It was so beautiful for you to be here on earth is because you are so cleansing and that is what the earth needs. You are helping us release these deep, uh, dark, dark densities from the earth. So thank you so much for all of the work that you don't even know that you're doing. <laughs> um, so we just invite you to keep your heart open because when your heart is open, you cleanse more people than you could ever imagine. Um, and then we have also activated more of your intuition, um, making it easier to connect with your higher guidance whenever needed. Um, and just... Um, uh, we just ask you to not ask you but we guide you to get out of your head and into your heart so when you feel like you are very mental when you feel like your thoughts are just racing just go into your heart because you are here to bring this pure love and joy you have researched pure love and joy for many many eons and lifetimes you know what pure love and joy is you know how to love others around you and this is such a beautiful gift that you have so now just tuning in with the solar plexus um you get bored very easily <laughs> so just tuning in with the solar plexus when you have to do these mundane things um do not allow your mind to take control over the mundane things that you have to do in your life feel powerful while you do these things feel gratitude while you do these things um, that it is all part of the path um, your solar plexus is not one of your um, not strengths but um, and it is important that it stays in balance but there is almost like an automation switch in here for you so 
Um, it's kind of like you're just automatically in your solar plexus. Um, it's not, it's very balanced already. So there's not really much work that you have to do. You could choose if you wanted to like really become more of a spiritual warrior or you could choose if like you wanted greater activations with your solar plexus. But as it comes to your solar plexus, this isn't necessarily like your true power that you came into this life with. So as we travel down into your sacral, um, oh my gosh, your, your sacral is beautiful. It is glowing. It has this beautiful divine energy. You have done so much work. <laughs> you have done so much work. Just remember to relax as well. Um, Sylvester loves to work, so <laughs> just take some deep breaths when you need it and create you are such a beautiful creator use this beautiful book with the akasha um this uh, your crown connects you to all of the information in your sacral so the way to um activate and remember or tap into this beautiful book that you hold within your sacral use your crown um you can access any of the information that you are seeking to help yourself or help others or to create um you can access this through your crown it is so beautiful so we have given you downloads as well as how to manifest your creations you are a manifester you have so much beautiful creative energy that all you have to do is act um rather it be, maybe create a schedule to help you stay scheduled this will help you deeply but we just want you to create we want you to write um, that keeps your heart so open because you have so much creative energy um, we feel that that's kind of what is missing from your life is like taking your creations and putting them into action and manifesting them and when you just start doing this even um, at the smallest point like even if you just decided to create one meditation or just to do some channeled writing and write it into a blog post and post it just something small you will feel that beautiful creative energy activate within you and then your root your root is so beautiful it's like you grow these beautiful roots um that it allows you to connect with everyone around you you are like this beautiful golden thread of energy that allows you to connect with everyone at this time um, and we have also helped you to stay grounded to the earth so that you can when you get these heavy downloads from this upgrade you can easily ground these upgrades that we have given you you can easily ground these downloads that we have given you and you can put them into action into your life so do you have any questions regarding that they're just saying like return home like i'm seeing homecoming and i think that's like a return to self but with the activations and the information that'll come through it'll all make sense like she's coming back to herself